this and I can tell you that the fact that so many people today are still questioning anything he does, that's not a good thing for Chris. An incredible moment on live TV last night. Chris Brown breaking down on stage during a tribute to Michael Jackson at the BET Awards. Brown had started last night's performance by channeling MJ's thrilling dance moves. But when it came time to sing Man in the Mirror, Brown got so choked up, he couldn't finish. People were in tears. There was not a dry eye uh, around. BET's April Woodard was there during Brown's breakdown. She tells Chavez tonight, no one at the BET Awards could believe what they were seeing. When he began to sing Man in the Mirror, that's a very emotional song for anybody. It had dual meaning for Chris Brown because he loves his idol, Michael Jackson, but also he's had to look at himself in the mirror and maybe not so happy with the image that he had seen. It was Brown's first big TV performance since he pleaded guilty for brutally beating up his ex-girlfriend, Rihanna, last year. And today, the morning shows weren't shy about bringing it up. Let's not forget how Rihanna must have felt when she looked in the mirror, posed feet down, and saw the fat lips, bloody mouth, and swollen eyes compliment Chris Brown. A lot of people questioning whether or not it's more of a ploy, getting back in the spotlight. Chubbis and I can tell you, all of America is asking the same question today. Was Chris Brown's breakdown a genuine display of emotion from a regretful guy who's had a rough year? Or was this a carefully crafted publicity stunt from an abuser in need of a career boost? I think a lot of people don't trust Chris Brown. They thought they knew him before. They thought he was a good guy and he was very calm and respectful. And then we found out what he did to Rihanna and that changed everyone's perception. That's why people don't trust him when they see him out there in an emotional way because they sort of uh, feel as though he's broken their trust before. Chris Brown is serving five years probation in addition to the six months of community service he also got for beating Rihanna. He's apologized repeatedly. He's uh, paid his dues. Deborah Lee, the CEO of BEC, tells Showbiz Tonight the organizers of the BEC Awards felt Brown has done enough to earn a place on stage. People have to make a living, and uh, I think he's answered his critics, and you know, hopefully it'll work out. But the public isn't exactly telling Chris Brown that all's forgiven. His last album, Graffiti, was released last December, and it was a huge flop. And earlier this month, the U.K. wouldn't even let him in the country for his tour because of his criminal conviction. And even if Brown's breakdown was real and not a publicity stunt, today some people are saying, so what? EntertainmentWeekly.com's Simon Bozik levinson writes, quote, Intimate partner violence is not something you can make up for with a few well-executed dance moves or on-stage stops. There's going to be people who will never forgive Chris Brown. I think that Chris Brown has a long road ahead of him. This appearance and him maybe winning over some people with uh, his emotions here uh, is just one step. I think he's still got a long way to go. So for now, are worth more than a thousand. I'm sorry.